Hey everybody, Daniel here. Hope everybody's having a great week. I want to kind of complete my recap of card shop purchases from this past Saturday. So um, I have a couple of things here and I brought out a couple of binders because I want to show you kind of what I'm going to do um, in some of the cases. Um, so let's start with this. This uh, Jim Rice, just a, a nice looking card. It was in the 10 cent box at this particular card shop. So different card shop than the last uh, video. Again, I went to two. So this was 10 cents. It, now that I'm looking at it, it's, it's got a little bit of a crease here, but it's an all-star card, okay? And then I was able to pick up this 1959 Vern Law. Uh, this one, I believe, was a buck. Um, so these two cards. So let's take a look at, again, the player run binder, because I have Vern Law in here. Um, <laughs> again, um, appears to be another duplicate purchase. So... You know, I've got to get better about that. I, yeah, I got to get better about it, but that's okay. So, um, anyways, I will put that, this one, uh, in a pile. I'll, I'll take a look. It looks like it might be better centered, but not as, uh, like sharp corners as the other one that I already have. Yeah, that's okay. Um, again, at some point I'll be, you know, giving these away or doing something with them. But, um, anyways, for now, I'll take a chance if it's a dollar or something like that. Um, and I'm not quite sure I do buy some duplicates, which is frustrating because I'd rather spend the money and get the ones that I need, but that's okay. All right. Um, so that one was for the player binder. Now, I mentioned that the Jim Rice was an all-star card. So here I have a top subsets uh, binder, and I need to probably increase the size of this because it's, it's getting full. So I have this, and then I have this. And uh, this is pretty cool. So you can see, you know, I don't know, Collectors Marketing Corp, New York, New York. Uh, but it's the 1987 Tops All-Star Set. So it says this 1987 Tops Set features the 1986 All-Star Game starting team. Uh, it's 22 different cards. And uh, I picked this up for 50 cents. So 50 cents for 22 cards and then 10 cents for that one. And I have my binder here, top subsets. <clears throat> so I have, I know I'm a little OCD, um, but so I, I'm doing all of the top sets from my birth year on. So 1981 on, I'm doing those in binders. But then separately, I've got this where I have different subsets. So we've got all-stars, right? Um, so the all-star cards. Now, right now, uh, I started this binder not that long ago. So uh, right now I've got uh, starting with 80. So the Jim Rice, I need to wait until I get some more sheets and then I'll put him in there since uh, this is a 79 card, but it has the all-star designation. So, and again, I'll work my way back um, and get all the all-star cards separately from the the uh, complete sets. But um, so I've got that, you know, so we have 80, then we go into 81. I've got the blank spots for the ones that I still need. Um, move into 82s. Got 83, just one there. I've got some 84s, moving to 85 and 86. Um, I guess I don't have any, yeah, 
anyways, but uh, so 87, I have some, but you can see I don't have anywhere near close to the 22. So, um, you know, I almost hate taking it out of this packaging because that's just cool. Um, but I probably will. I'll probably end up taking it out. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, also, at the card shop. All right, let's put... Oh, so I have the All-Stars, and I've got a section for Future Stars. Here, you know, I do have a bunch from 80, but then I was just going to go with, like, one card to represent each year. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, league Leaders, I need to do a, a, a sheet for that, but then we've got Record Breakers, different years... And then like team leader cards, got a couple of those. The turn back the clock. So there's five from kind of each year. Let's see those. And then there's some more recent ones from like archives. And then these are just, uh, if, if they have like a wax or a gum stain or something. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see, but on the back it's got the Kind of gum stain there. Anyways. So. Let's get this binder out of the way. And let's talk about a couple of the other things that I picked up. Now, the card shop that I went to for this purchase, they have some shelves. And one of the shelves they have, everything is a quarter. So they just have kind of some stuff there. So I came across these. Baseball's wildest plays, baseball's famous feats, baseball firsts, um, and again, quarter a piece. This isn't something that I typically see, so I grabbed these. These were the four that they had. Um, I don't know if these are, you know, from a previous seller or if these are kind of like catalog numbers, I'm not sure. So we'll see, but these are uh, Fleer. So, you know, this one doesn't have a, a date at the bottom. This one here does 1972, 73, and 72. So just some interesting stuff that I don't see all that often. Uh, they are a little bit bigger, right? A little bit longer than the typical card. Um, so anyways, I thought these were kind of cool. And so I picked those up. All right. Going back to a few videos ago, I had picked up a bunch of these French's baseball cards in a dime box and a couple in a quarter box. I'm, I'm working on that set. Well, again, on the quarter shelf, they had this, which was awesome. Okay, so now I know how these cards came. This would have sat over the lid of the mustard, right? It's circular, it fits over the lid, and this would have hung on, on the mustard bottles. Um, so this one on the back, it's got Robin Ventura and Matt Williams. We'll see real quick. Do I have it? Robin Ventura and Matt Williams. So I've already got it. So I probably will keep this one intact. Um, it's got three different cards in here, plus this like header card. Um, I'm guessing because I have the Robin Ventura and Matt Williams already that I probably have the other three or the other two, but um, anyways, I thought this was really cool to actually see how these came. And then the last thing, again, for a quarter, was this uh, Warren Spawn exhibit style card. I, I do not think that this is an original exhibit card, uh, probably some type of reprint or uh, commemorative issue. I, I don't know. But for a quarter, I thought it was pretty cool, and I would pick it up. Again, these are uh, larger in size. Um, 
says printed in USA, nothing on the back. So if you have any info on what this might be, again, I think it's probably some type of reproduction or reprint, but uh, a little bit of looking online. Obviously the exhibit cards were distributed over a number of years from like the late forties to the sixties. Um, so I think there's a couple of different versions of this one where uh, maybe it has a B or an M on the hat. Um, but anyways, for a quarter, if I see something unique that um, I'm not familiar with or um, you know, you just don't see that often. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Take care.